Hey everyone, Notorious here. Sorry I haven't been making as much content as usual, but here's my best attempt to create something new for you to watch. Check out this Blake's Hitch. This beautiful Blake's Hitch. Psych! This is actually a suicide knot, and it could kill you. Whether you're experienced or just learning, the suicide knot is something you want to watch out for when tying a Blake's Hitch. Let's talk about that and more. This is the suicide knot. This is not a Blake's hitch. If you thought it was a Blake's, well, I can hardly blame you because the two are not that much different. The suicide knot is aptly named because unlike the Blake's hitch, which grabs and performs well with a split tail, this is a split tail versus an eye to eye, the suicide knot is well known for slipping sliding, and perhaps even causing injury and death. So, what can you look out for when tying a Blake's hitch so that you don't end up with a suicide knot? Let me show you. The Blake's hitch and the suicide knot begin exactly the same way. You start by creating the coil. So we're going to wrap up once, twice, three times to create four wraps and then we're going to bring the tail of our split tail around the back and over the standing end. Whether you're tying a suicide knot or a Blake's hitch, they both begin this exact same way. Now this is where you have to pay attention. To tie the suicide knot you are going to fail to bring the working end behind your climbing rope. Okay, so a properly tied Blake's hitch is tied like this. So you take that working end and you bring it behind your climbing line and then you can pull out the two strands and put your working end through oops I think I just hit my camera um, and then you'll end up with a Blake's hitch and then you can tie your stopper knot such as a figure eight um, ideally you want your stopper knot to be as close to the hitch as possible um, so that's why I often use a half hitch so I just tie it right up next to that Blake's hitch because it is the easiest stopper knot to get right up close to your friction hitch and there's no way that that's pulling through under load. So that is a Blake's hitch. Now the suicide slide is very similar. So instead of going behind the rope, a climber who isn't paying attention and this could be any one of us because we all are guilty of sometimes not paying as much attention to what we're doing as we should even under at height situations uh, where our lives are at stake we get complacent and a climber would instead fail to bring the working end behind the rope pull out those strands and put the working end through and it looks very similar. You have to admit it looks <laughs> very similar. So it's easy to see how someone might make this mistake and end up with a friction hitch that quite literally could kill them. Hence the name, suicide. So if we dress and set this, this is the suicide knot. You can see that it does grab, but it's just well established to be dangerous, okay? So part of the reason why it is so dangerous is because it will feel, or it can feel at first, as if it's grabbing, like a normal Blake's hitch, until it doesn't, okay? And then you take a quick drop 
with a sudden stop, as I like to say. And that's no bueno. That is not good. So if you use a Blake's Hitch, especially if you're learning, be wary of this configuration. Again, just to reiterate, you want to create those wraps and then you want to take that working hand behind your climb line, open those two wraps, put your working end through, and that is a properly tied Blake's hitch. And please, for the love of God, don't forget your stop or not. All right. This has been a quick public service announcement from your Friction Hitch connoisseur, Notorious. I hope you all have had a wonderful Christmas and a blessed New Year. Don't forget to check out my channel for more hitch how-tos, knot tutorials, and climbing videos. Bye!